from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Perfect time for the kickoff of Trav's Coats for Kids. And we would love for you to help out if you can go look in your closet, not only for a coat for yourself, but if you have some extra ones, we'd like new and gently used ones, especially uh, baby size, infant size, and even XXL or larger for some because we really run low on those. That's going on now right on through December 31st. And we want to say a big congratulations, Station Night, for 10 years here at the Big Six. So again, uh, she is an amazing person. Glad to have her also. Amazing was the snow. We had snowmen. Chase made a couple snowmen down to Hartshorn, just to the east southeast of McAllister. And those are pretty good snowmen. And we're talking about as well at Lake Ten Killer. Nikki sent this picture in, and this was steam rising from the warm waters. Well, it's not that warm, but it's about 60 degrees uh, right now as the water temperatures on some of the area lakes. And that was a lot warmer than the temperature of 32 or 33, and snow was falling. So kind of a unique picture. Here's Emily from Stewart uh, down around McAllister. Again, covered in snow, and that snow system is moving on out now. We had snow make it into the south side of Tulsa. In fact, anywhere from Glenpool to south uh, around Bixby, South Bixby, and Broken Arrow had snow still showing up on the grassy surfaces. This system's moving away, and it's rapidly pulling away from southeastern Oklahoma, where we did have that snow. So that's what we're keeping an eye on. As the snow continues to move away, we're going to be left with some low clouds and fog for a while. So there could be some drizzle, and we're worried about temperatures just a little bit. So our guys have been all around the area and watching roadways. Uh, Bob has been around the Owasso area and again roads are okay it's just been wet and then Sequoia has been in areas where there's been a lot of snow tonight anywhere from Haskell County and then extending through Sequoia County for Sequoia and there's still a little bit of snow you can see falling and see the road sides but most of the roads should stay wet because the soil temperatures are so warm but the air temperatures hanging near freezing from Coffeyville and Independence you go down northern Oklahoma and now down in the Tulsa area we're in the mid 30s and you usually warm up after snow a little bit in situations like this but southeast Oklahoma you guys still hanging near freezing so be advised for elevated surfaces it's not a great situation how much snow has fallen well these reports have come into the area anywhere from a half inch or more on the south sides of Tulsa and then it goes up to two inches around McAllister 2.8 inches just southwest of Fayetteville on the uh, city I should say on the uh, state line and then out in western Oklahoma we had around Custer and then extending back to Clinton four to five and a half inches of snow so quite a bit fell for early season it's not even winter yet and soil temperatures are, though, in the 40s to uh, generally 40s. We'll just call it to low 50s. We were around 50, 51 around Tulsa yesterday and obviously dropped some. But it's still great snow when it's warm temperatures at the surface and we're still hanging near freezing so it's not as dangerous. Alan will have a lot more in the morning to make sure you get started 430 in the morning so if you start that early you definitely want to be with him. Uh, we're talking about this system continuing to pull away from the area and as it pulls away uh, we're looking for temperatures in the morning still to be very cool to cold cold better word and then we'll clear out probably about noontime and we'll get a little rebound in the afternoon with a colder northwest wind as we go through the time period as we get into Wednesday morning it's cold we'll be in the 20s about 30 in the heart of Tulsa and then during the day it's a cold day again, basically. We're in the upper 30s, low 40s, especially in the northeast side, mid 40s around Tulsa. And as we look on into Thursday, look for highs and warmer, upper 40s to low 50s. That'll be great because I don't want to freeze to death in jinx. We're going to get to turn the Christmas lights on at 6 o'clock. Lori will be in Eufaula turning on Christmas lights. It's cold, but it's seasonal, so it should put you a little bit more in the spirit. And by the time we get on into Friday morning, we'll be in the 20s. A very, very cold Friday coming up with a few snow flurries possible. Temperatures for highs in the 30s in the afternoon. That's it for highs. So our precipitation chances get pretty slim until maybe some showers around Thanksgiving. And the only other thing that's going to happen is the fact that it should warm up a little bit as we get closer to Thanksgiving as well. So the forecast looks like this as we go through the morning hours. Some low clouds and a little bit of fog around and mist possible by the time we get on into the noontime. That's when clouds should start to break. And then we're going to be looking for temperatures that will be generally ranging on the cold side, as you can see. And then we start to warm up just enough near Thanksgiving. All right, that is a look at your nine-day forecast. We'll be right back with sports.